It's the maiden voyage in the Bet MGM studio here at Ascension St. Thomas Sports Park. With Rand Carthon, I'm Mike Keith, and it's time for us to get down to the business of the 2023 Tennessee Titans schedule. You had to hold it, you had to look at it, you had to wait with it. Was it hard? Very. <laughs> um, because you don't take, I mean, obviously it's the, it's the schedule. It's who we're going to play. It's our opponents and things that we can start getting ready for. But on the personal side, it's, okay, where, where's this game? Oh, I got family. I can get, have to get X amount of tickets for this. Or the London game. Now you can plan for, you know, family travel. So um, excited to actually have this out public. And I'm sure as soon as I take my phone off, do not disturb, I'll have a bunch of Be calls Be rolling again. <laughs> All right, let's take a good look at the schedule to begin. Preseason is where we start. And it's Chicago and at Minnesota, both on the road and then home for the New England Patriots. So two preseason games on the road, New England at home. The regular season opens on September the 10th at New Orleans. It's a noon kickoff, and you're going to see a theme with the noon kickoffs. The home opener in week two, the LA Chargers, back on the road to Cleveland to round out September. October begins with a visit from the Cincinnati Bengals, then it's at Indianapolis for the first AFC South game, on to London to take on the Baltimore Ravens on October 15th, the bye is in week seven on October the 22nd. Post bye, Atlanta at home, followed by Thursday night football at Pittsburgh. Then two more road games at Tampa Bay, at Jacksonville. The home schedule comes into focus down the stretch. Thanksgiving weekend, Carolina, followed by Indianapolis. Monday night football in Miami on December 11th. Then home for Houston home for Seattle, at Houston, and then the regular season ends once again with Jacksonville. Rand Carthon, as general manager of the Titans, any immediate takeaways? Um, I think this is going to be a competitive schedule. I mean, you look at the teams um, that we're playing, um, they're either teams that, you know, our division opponents obviously are what they are, and the AFC South is going to be, you know, a tough uh, climb for us this year. Uh, but you look at the other teams, you know, they're teams that are either on the upswing or teams that have become established. So it'll be a good test for us to see where we are. New Orleans as the opener there. It'll obviously be loud in Very the Caesars loud. Superdome. But Derek Carr being there, troubling a little bit that they're going to have a new quarterback and maybe, uh, maybe be a little bit of a mystery coming in? No, I mean, that's what you have preseason for. Okay. And that's why our scouts, uh, you know, downstairs they'll be working on – you know, having they have the opportunity to see Derek Carr, see how he, you know, functions within the offense, and so I, I trust you know our guys to get us ready. Uh, but that's a great test to come out uh, on the road in such a hostile environment and loud environment, um, and give us something to really look forward to this preseason. Selfishly, I'm glad the cold weather games are early. <laughs> it's good, and we got some warm weather games down the stretch. But that last one with Jacksonville, it'll probably be cold in Nashville the first weekend in January. Uh, that's that's what you want against the defending division champs, right? Take any advantage you can get, you know. And for me, selfishly, I see that we got three games in my home state of Florida. There you so go. I'm pretty excited to be there and have this team that I'm a part of, you know, get to show the people in my home state what we're made of. Rand Carthon, let's wrap up with this. Uh, this, and, and you said, and Coach Vrabel always says, and everybody says, it's the schedule. You knew who the opponents were going to be. Now you just know the dates. But for the fan base, this is sort of like a Christmas Day type thing <laughs> because you start to be able to make your plans. And as you know, being a Gator, in this part of the country, football weekends mean so much to, to really everybody. Yeah, absolutely, because you have to plan your, uh, your Saturday and then plan your Sunday and sometimes your Thursday and sometimes your Monday. So it's now everybody, not only here in this building, but across the state, across this region, now we can plan our lives for the rest of the year. There we so go. Now, now, now the world can start for 2023. The run towards uh, Las Vegas and potentially Super Bowl 58 begins for 32 teams. Rand Carthon, thanks for being with us. Anytime, man. Thank you. All right, we're going to. Yes, sir. <laughs> now another more complete run through of the schedule. 
Again, the preseason at Chicago, at Minnesota, and against New England. Again, that season opener at New Orleans, September the 10th. Team's first trip to the Big Easy since 2015 when the Titans won in overtime in Mike Malarkey's first game as interim coach. September 17th, the LA Chargers come to town. First Nashville trip for Justin Herbert. September 24th at Cleveland. Last time the Titans were in Cleveland, Tennessee won 43 to 13. Cincinnati on October 1st, Titans and Bengals meeting for the fourth straight season. At Indianapolis on October the 8th, the first AFC South game. London, Baltimore the opponent, 8.30 a.m. Central Time, Titans second ever trip to London, second one under Mike Vrabel actually. Week seven by, week seven by is actually kind of interesting in Titans history. It's the first time the ball club has had a week seven by since 2009. It's the fifth time overall the Titans have had a week seven by. October 29th, Atlanta at noon. Arthur Smith brings the Falcons to Nissan Stadium for the first time since 2015. At Pittsburgh, Thursday night football on November the 2nd. Titans were one and one on Thursday nights last season. At Tampa Bay at noon on November the 12th, Titans have won three in a row over the Bucks. And then the first meeting with Jacksonville on November the 19th as the team starts to crank up action in the division. The next weekend, Carolina at noon at Nissan Stadium. Only the seventh all-time meeting between the Titans and the Panthers. Good chance we'll see Bryce Young in that one. To December we move, and it's time to finish up with Indianapolis at home. Then to Miami for Monday Night Football. It'll be the Titans' 45th all-time Monday Night Football game. The team has won 25 of those. Houston comes to town on December 17th, and then on December 24th, it's Seattle. If Geno Smith is the starting quarterback for the Seahawks, he'll make his third career start at Nissan Stadium, but amazingly his first since 2014. And then at Houston, also played the Texans twice in three weeks in December 2019, if that looks familiar, week 15, and then at Houston week 17, and then winding it up with Jacksonville. Titans Radio's coach Dave McGinnis joins me. Hello, Coach Mack. You know, I was wondering if I was going to get to talk, Mike. <laughs> I mean, I've been standing up here looking like a puppet, and I've met most of y'all upstairs, and if I didn't meet you, that's my fault. So cool that you're here. So cool that you're here. Uh, this is my – no, I'm talking. Okay. This is my <laughs> This is my 38th season in the National Football League, straight. I've done a pretty good job of tricking people for that long, like I know what I'm doing. But – Every year, this year, this time, of, this time of the year is so exciting. It really is, because everybody's got fresh hope. You got a fresh start, and it, it's it's really good. And since I haven't been coaching, since I've been doing this with Mike Keith, now I get to interact with y'all. Which y'all are the lifeblood of what goes on. Y'all are the lifeblood of this stuff. We had a season where we had nobody in the stands. How strange was that? Strange. Strange. Okay, I don't ever want to do it again. But I'm so happy here to be here with you guys. Now, what do you want to ask me? Okay, what I want to ask you is what you think of the schedule, Coach Mack? Well, to me, as a coach, as a former coach for 31 years in this league, the first thing you look at is you look at where your divisional games are. Okay. We've got a pretty good uh, backloading of our divisional games. That's important. You also look at your altered schedule games. Everybody looks at, at your sheet. We've got three altered schedule games, right. right? Okay, and so when you look at that, because as a coach, you're looking at your schedule as to how you're going to get your guys ready. The next thing, and we'll find out when we get a master plan, I always wanted to look at and see how many teams I am playing after they're coming off their bye. Right. And especially where it is during the schedule, because that makes a difference. Because this stuff takes a toll on these dudes' bodies out here. And you'd, you'd kind of like to know where, where you line up there. The next, thing, the next thing you look at, not only is where are the national games, how do the national games fall as far as what happens after them? Right. Then, do you have any sandwich games? We had a sandwich game last year with Indy, where you play a game, opponent, play another game. That's what you look at as a coach. This, to me, is a much more linear and an even schedule than last year. Last year was very, very chopped up. 
you know, as far as Thursday night games, how much rest you had, how much you didn't. And I'm just telling you as a former head coach, that puts a lot of strain on you trying to decide how much to work your guys, when to work them, especially with the injuries that we had last year. That's a double load on you to do that. And so that's just a little overview of what you look at as a coach when you look at this stuff here. Let's look at the month by month if we could. In September, the Titans obviously opened the season on the road at New Orleans. Can we stop, stop you a minute? Yes, sir. We go to Chicago, right? We go to preseason, yes. I was the head coach of the Bears for six hours, didn't know it for three. True story. <laughs> True story. True story. All right, so back to the preseason. Here's August. One more time. Okay. I'm going to write a book so y'all get a copy when I write it. This will be two chapters in. All right, now go. All right. So that's your preseason. That's obviously August. We don't have dates and times yet. Those will be set as we go forward, as the clubs work this out and we figure out what the TV schedule is. So to September we go, and you look at the home game with the Chargers sandwiched in between the road games at New Orleans and Cleveland. October's an interesting month because the Titans bounce around first of the month and the end of the month, home games, Indianapolis and a trip to London and the bye on October 22nd. Mike Vrabel is 5-0 and after buys in his time with the Titans. Mike Vrabel's a good football coach, guys. I mean, I know good from bad in this league. And look, I know he's a good ball coach, but <clears throat> when he's looking at this, He's telling you some of the same things I'm telling you right now as far as in his mind now how the wheels are turning, how he's going to get his teams ready for this. The reason he is so good after a bye because he, he, he assesses where his team is and then he knows how to get them ready with a little extra time. All right, so let's look at November. It's a tough month. Three straight road games to begin. The Thursday night game at Pittsburgh, then at Tampa and Jacksonville, finally home for Carolina. Those three straight road games, that's a tough test. That's a tough test. And what you, you got a Thursday night game in there. So what you want to do with a Thursday night game is because you're going to be coming off of a short week with that Thursday night game, it's really, really important to have your guys as healthy as you can be going into that one. Because that's the stretch there to me when we're looking at November. When you've got Thursday, then you've got at Tampa Bay, at Jacksonville, that's going to, that's going to test your mettle a little bit. That one right there. Then five games in the month of December, three of them division games, wrapping up with Indy, and then back to back, or Houston in uh, three weeks, play them two times in three weeks. Some tough work there, and as you go into January, just sort of a continuation, then the home game with Jacksonville. Uh, a lot on the line for the Titans down the stretch, but the schedule plays back into their hands with all the home games and all the home division games down the street. That's such a huge point, Mike, because look, the clearest way to the tournament in the National Football League is to win your division. And so having that, having that back loaded like that, you need to have your team hitting on all cylinders when we reach that point. And look, the league does this on purpose, guys. They do it on purpose because all of these games really, they're all important in the National Football League because you only got 17 chances. But back loading everybody's schedule with division games, that's a big, big stretch there. And the divisional matchups, Indianapolis and Jacksonville early on, and, and really, you talk about Indianapolis in week five, Jacksonville on November the 19th, and then Indy, Houston, Houston, December, Jacksonville in week 18. If the Titans can do enough to put themselves in contention, then they have a chance to take care of their business on their own as you move down the street. Yeah, and roll, you know, when you roll it back and you start looking, you know, when I was coaching, we had 16 games, so it's very easy to do the math. We would divide it into quarters. Now that you've got 17, you still want to divide it into quarters, but you, you've got, you've got uh, mileposts you want to reach in each of those months. And to do just what you said, Mike, put yourself in a position to make a run for the pole in the, in the last month of your schedule. I want to talk about flexible scheduling for just a, a minute. Sunday night flexible scheduling for Sunday night football. Twice they can flex games between weeks 5 and 10. And then at the NFL's discretion, weeks 11 through 17. So there is flexibility there. This year, we'll also have Monday night flex scheduling potentially. The NFL can flex games in weeks 13 through 17. Games can be moved throughout the year from noon to the 3.05 or the 3.25 window. Week 18 is interesting because there are two games on that Saturday, January 6th, 
3.30 and 7.15. And then on Sunday, there are noon and 3.25 starts. And then obviously there's a Sunday night game. Start times, networks for everything announced at the conclusion of week 17. So as they sort of map out the horse race, they can do whatever they need to to make week 18 as exciting as possible. Well, and that's why they do it. Of course, we all know that television drives everything that we do, right? I mean, and then that's, that's why they do it. I mean, it's genius the way they do it. Now, as a coach, again, as I say, when, if you've got a chance to be flexed, then you've got to start making two schedules. You start making two schedules because regardless of when you're playing, you got to be ready to play, right? And so, but the league has done a genius move there because every game, especially in the last month and then the last two weeks of the season, is going to be meaningful because you can pick and choose who's playing on the primetime shows depending on what the record is. All right, so if you look at the schedule and you say, how do we end up with these opponents in these situations? The Titans and the rest of the AFC South this year play the four teams from the AFC North the four teams from the AFC South, and the NFC West opponent who finished in the like position as you last year, this year for the Titans, that's Seattle. Seattle finished second in the West, so that's the opponent. Divisions, uh, you kind of look around and you say, well, how does it affect your schedule in terms of the win percentage? Jacksonville is playing the toughest schedule in the division this year in a 477 win clip. Titans opponents last year won 44.8% of their games. Indianapolis 434 and Houston 431. No real big advantage in any of that. Yeah, all of that stuff, you know, really is nice to look at numbers wise, but it depends on where your team is at that time. I mean, that's what you're looking at now. And we know we're going to play these guys twice, right? So without even looking at numbers, I know this, we've got to beat these people twice. Every one of them. That's what we have to do. If you could win five of six, you'd be happy. Though, you'd right? be real happy, you'd Coach. You'd be very happy. And the hope springs eternal about the NFL, and this stat really bears it out. Since 1990, 33 straight years, at least four teams, at least four, have made the playoffs who did not make it the year before. Last year, six of the 14 teams that made the playoffs did not make it the year before. So you, every team goes in feeling like they have a real chance to get in the tournament. Well, absolutely. And, and parity is what this league is all about. It's the best professional sports uh, league going because of the parity. Everybody, and of course, now it comes down to injuries. It comes down to breaks, you know, during the game. But that's what makes it so exciting. When Mike Keith called me and asked me to come back here and, uh, you know, start broadcasting, he's really sorry he did that eight years ago. <laughs> but since he did, I mean, just the excitement and being able to be involved, and especially, look, he does all the games, Mike Keith does, with the windows wide open. Now, because he wants, the, he wants the feel of what it's like, and I get that. As a coach, I was down there on the sideline for 31 years. You, you, get, you get the feel of it. There's nothing like it. You guys are part of it. You, you see it. The thing I'm happy about when he talked about our weather schedules, I'm so glad we play those cold teams, you know, early you know, and so it's not cold because it doesn't matter what it is. We've done games at Green Bay where I promise you, if I hadn't have been a lifer in this league, I'd have quit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, ice on the microphones, ice on this. And, and, and it was last year, you know, it's when Brad Willis, who does a great job with us, and Philip Noel, you know, they're the, they're the, the, brains. the brains of it. Mm -hmm. And they put it all together, the engineers. So before Mike came in the, into the, the booth, he said, hey, look really cold so <laughs> I'm going to propose this to Mike and I need all of y'all to be on my side he said if we could just keep this window over here open and this one over here could we close these other two so we could still hear it but we wouldn't get blasted he said is everybody with me going oh yeah we're with you comes in Mike we're thinking we're going to leave these he went no <laughs> that's it so I'm so happy, so happy. <laughs> so happy to be at Miami in December. Oh, my God, yeah, yes. that's a bit, Well, those windows don't open anyway no, in they Miami. Don't. No, they um, don't. We're by J-Lo's club That's right. in Miami. <laughs> so we're going to London. Who's excited about going to London? I mean, yeah. It's, we're going to play at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, which is supposed to be state-of-the-art and designed for American football, which Wembley is not. No, it's not. And, and listen, playing at Wembley was awesome. 
But sitting out amongst the people doing the broadcast at, great. at school desks like we were, not as good as what this is going to be. Baltimore in October, in London, uh, our second time to go do it. Um, awesome. This will be my fourth London trip with the team. Uh, it'll be my sixth overseas trip in my tenure in the National Football League. Four to London, one to Gutenberg, Sweden, when I was with the Bears, played the Vikings, and then one to Berlin to play the 49ers when I was with, when I was with, when I was with the Bears. London, look, London, I went to the, the first one they did. I was with the Bears. We went and played the Cowboys in 86 over there in London. They were just kind of getting the feel for how this NFL thing was going to work in London. So there was a few hiccups, okay? But the atmosphere is fabulous. Now, they have got it so smooth. And a shout-out to Brent Akers and our ops crew because they, they, this trip is planned so well by these people here. The last time we went in 2018, smooth trip. Y'all are planning on going, go. I mean, it is, it's worth the trip. It is worth the trip. Because I see you right there saying, hey, look, I told you we <laughs> need to go. The Coach Max telling you, it's a cool trip. It's a great experience. Oh, it's a great experience, and everything is like the Super Bowl. You've got everybody there. They're wearing different jerseys, and they make noise the whole game. But leading up to it, it's a cool, cool experience. And as I say, I've been doing this for a while, and I was like, Wow. This is really good. So that stadium, that stadium is really cool because it's, it's got a soccer pitch because it's a soccer stadium. So the pitch, but then they can, the, the, the pitch can move and then they raise a football field. I mean, it's a, it's a fabulous, fabulous uh, mechanical marvel over there that they've built. So I'm looking forward to it. What kind of advantage is it that Mike Vrabel is doing it for the second time? Big time. Big. And it, it's big for Mike for this reason. He's doing it for a second time, and he's doing it with the same ops crew. Mm. So they know exactly. I mean, he's <clears throat> I, I, Brent Akers and those guys. I mean, he's already, as soon as this thing popped up that we were going, they already started planning as far as to what, as what was going on. And it, it, it's, it's flawless the way we travel. It, it really is. And for you guys that are coming, it, it's, it, it's, it's really planned out. Very, very well. But for Mike Vrabel, for a coach, there's, there's a feeling of it, it removes all the what ifs when you're a coach. If you've already done it once and you've done it with the same ops crew. So it's really smooth. And how many different pubs did you hang out with with Titans fans? Coach, look. You went to like every one. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah I did. I, I, we had, a, we had a, our radio show we did at one. I can't remember the name. I mean, I call it Bed, Bath, and Beyond. That's not what it was. <laughs> but it was, it was not a good connotation it, it was, at this was, moment. It, yeah, I understand. It was Backer, <laughs> Barrel, and Bar. And I, you know, it was fabulous. I had so many Titans fans in there. I mean, to the rafters. The great thing about it was, you know, I'll tell stories all night. I don't know how long we got. But we, we, we went in there, and the Seahawks had already been there the week before, right? They had, been, they had set up at the same bar. Well, when we came in... Uh, to set up, the Seahawks guy was still in there taking his stuff down. And so he started trying to tell Brad Willis, which you don't tell him anything, you know, about how they set up and here's how you should set up. He let it go on for about oh, five minutes. And I'm looking over there at Brad just, and he, I mean, his nickname's the Water Moxon because he will go after you. And so he finally- Sure he looked, wanted that he, out. He, yeah, yeah, <laughs> doesn't matter. I mean, he's a fabulous person. Yes, he, 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 he went, he, went he, he finally told that guy, I could care less what the Seahawks did. And here's what I really care about. You getting out of here. All right. <laughs> we had Everything great... else was really pleasant. Oh, yeah. I, I, I... We had a great time over there. I mean, y'all y'all come, please. I mean, you'll love it. See, this is why you should listen to Titans Radio. This is every week right here. Dave McGinnis, thanks very much. Thanks, guys. That's great stuff. All right. So Coach Mack is going out. Jim Rice is coming in. He is the vice president of Titans Ticket Sales. And uh, there, there's a lot to talk about because the schedule is out. You've had a chance to ruminate through it. Jim Rice, a lot of great options. Welcome. Appreciate that, Mike. We're glad to have you. I'm just wondering, I'm not going to tell you to stop talking, but how are you going to make me follow acts like Ran and Coach Mack? Well, that's, that's why you're here. We saved the best for last. Uh, how about that? I appreciate that. that. Yes. Appreciate that. Let's talk flex plans. Sure. All right. Tell people what flex plans are, what they need to know, yeah. and how they can go about getting them. Yeah, so it's a great option for those folks that maybe don't have the time to, to come to all 10 games or the budget. Um, and so we've got a variety of different packages. We've got a two-game pack sponsored by Twice Daily that allows you to pick any two games that, that you want to come out to during the season. 
Uh, we've got our AFC South pack where you can purchase that and, and come out and watch us take on all of our rivals within the division. And then we've got a five game flex plan, which is a, basically a half season where you get that one preseason and any four regular season games you want. All right, so I love the fireball fast pass idea. You, you've been selling those. Do you still have some available? We got very few left, yeah. Tell people what they are. Yeah, so again, uh, another option for those that are on a budget, but this one gets you to, to all 10 games. So it's a 300 level ticket. Um, but with that, it's a different seed every game. And so you get to try out a, a lot of different options and it's only $400. You get, you get every game this season. So. Wow, that's yeah, great. Great deal. And playoff priority? And playoff priority. That's with that and, and the flex plans. All right, so if I wanted to buy season tickets, I want to buy a PSL, I can still do that. You can still do that. Obviously, we've got the, the new stadium coming up. That was huge news for us a couple weeks ago. Um, but yeah, PSLs are on sale. We've got uh, extremely limited inventory in the club in lower level. Um, things have been going well for us the last couple of years with the winning records and the playoff runs. But uh, if you want to give us a call, 615-565-4200, we can definitely find something that fits your budget. And something that's newer to us, but really exciting, group sales. Groups, yep. Been around for a couple of years now. So whether it's family, friends, company outing, church, school, youth groups, whatever it is, uh, all you need is 10 or more. Pick whatever game you want, put down a $250 deposit, and then two weeks before the game, firm up what your numbers are and pay the rest, and you guys can come out and have a grand, grand old time. So for all of these options that we just talked about, 615-565-4200. You got it. What else do I need to know, Jim Rice? New stadium's coming up, so that's, that's another big talking point. Um, and right now, if you purchase PSLs through us, um, the value of that PSL will transfer to the new building. Oh, so well. that's, that's big time. That's great. That's great. All right, Jim Rice. Thank you game. so much. Appreciate it. Well Thanks done. Everybody. All right. So one more run of the schedule as we wrap this up from the Bet MGM studio. Preseason at Chicago, at Minnesota. Final preseason game, New England. Opening the regular season, September 10th at New Orleans. Home for the Chargers on September 17th. At Cleveland, September 24th. Cincinnati on October 1st at Nissan Stadium. At Indianapolis, October 8th. The London game against the Ravens, October 15th. The bye, October 22nd. Atlanta comes to town on October 29th. Four days later, the Titans play Thursday night football at Pittsburgh. Road games, November 12, Tampa Bay. November 19, Jacksonville. Carolina at home, November 26th. Indianapolis at home, December 3rd. Monday night football at Miami on December the 11th. Home for Houston, December 17th. Home for Seattle, Christmas Eve. At Houston on New Year's Eve day at noon. And then the final weekend, week 18, against Jacksonville to be determined Saturday or Sunday. So we shall see where it all ends up. But it is incredibly exciting as we talk schedule. A special thanks to Rand Carthon, Coach Dave McGinnis, and also to Jim Rice, and mostly to all of you. Thank you so much. <laughs>